Today on Price Check, we're going to take a look at some Ko Imari pieces. Uh, you might hear Ko Imari, Ko Kakeman, Ko Kudani. I'm pretty sure Ko is a. Uh, a Ko, I'm pretty sure Ko is a stand in for the word old. So old Imari, uh, old Kakeman, etc. Um, a lot of the times it has to do with uh, where the kilns were located and how they were making porcelain. So here we have a 17th, 18th century, I believe 18th century duck plate. Uh, very fine. You, know, you have these deep blues that you don't necessarily get on uh, contemporary Sumetsuke. Sumetsuke. And you've got the two... Uh, points on the bottom where it was lifted from the kiln and overall kind of a rather extravagant piece here and let's see what else we have we have a koamari confectionery how interesting here's a koamari soba cup that we were looking at similars recently and that doing much better and let's see the inside here oh yes and that is a great indicator of age wonderful stylization on the center here the man riding the fish lovely design all the way around suddenly feel a lot better about that sale price of 272 dollars we get a good image of the base yes this is a rather fine piece so i am not surprised by its sale it does uh, kind of harken to uh, some modern reproductions as far as the style goes but looking through this this is a rather nice piece and here we've got a kokutani plate with flowers and birds uh, nothing too wild there but we do have the old mark that you will find in old books for the 18th and 19th century for Katani, so that is kind of cool to see. And if you're someone who rather likes these off center plates or these ellipses shape, uh, you might get a kick out of that one. And here we have a 12 inch charger in the Heisen from the Heisen Kin in Japan. And again, we've got the three points for the kiln. We've got just wonderful hand-done designs all the way through. And we've got the double blue line in the center to mark the medallion for painting. And overall, a rather extravagant piece. You get the uh, contrast between how the initial blue is burnt into the plate and then the rest is hand painted afterwards and here we've got some lovely bud vases some ko imari bud vases so some older older pieces is what we claim here we've got that good old red paint and individual brush strokes on the leaves Got some good older looking bases and one bid for $150 said and done. Not bad at all, especially if it comes with the original box. That is cool. And here we've got a couple more pieces. We have a oct octagonal Ko Imari plate with some stylization and looks like some white painted ribbing in there not bad a little bit different and again we have that old heisen mark uh, on the arita I'm not sure if that's heisen but very close to the style and let's see here finally we'll end on this one a little bit different colorization uh, gives you some confidence to how early it is um, we don't necessarily have colors that you don't see in this time period so unless I am wrong about this green 
Um, this is a little bit cruder, but I think we're going to forgive that due to its age and looking at the base, yes, this was uh, made by a more crude kiln in the 18th, early 19th century. So that wraps it up on our Ko Imari for today. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you can keep up with what we're doing here. And most of all, have a great day.